Live for God Studio Productions. This is Cooking with Brian, a cooking show with food that actually tastes great. Hi, folks. Welcome to Cooking with Brian. Before we start any recipes, you must fix a cup of coffee because it's an absolute must. Without coffee, we cannot have the energy to do anything whatsoever. So make sure you fix a cup of coffee before you start any recipes, friends. Looks like it's done. Sweet deal. Okay, friends, today's lesson, we're going to learn how to make a delicious pork chop dinner. It's very simple to make and don't take no more than maybe an hour or so to to uh, make this. Now we're going to make one of the side dishes in a special device that I want to recommend that you might get. It's called a rice cooker and rather than cook it on the stove top you can cook it in a rice cooker which makes really good tasting rice the only thing is they are a pain in the butt to clean so once you take the rice out of them you want to make sure that you soak it in soapy water for maybe 15 or 30 minutes and then take a spoon and scrape the stuff off because it will stick to it guaranteed and then after you get all that out then you can let it soak again for another 15 minutes or so and then wash it normal and you can even run it through your dishwasher the pan that's inside the rice cooker so friends here's how you make a very delicious uh, pork chop dinner uh, which consists of the pork chops some rice aroni which is very simple to make and we're going to do that in a rice cooker tonight and we're gonna make green beans now the green beans we're making are not the fancy ones that you've seen my recipe for this is just a quick and simple green bean recipe which is maybe a little bit bland compared to the good ones the good ones I got are like to die for these are just good they're not great but they're good and it's good enough for dinner so here's how you make it friends first of all you gotta find your coffee that you just made and you gotta take a few big drinks and then once we get the energy we'll begin this lesson okay friends the first thing you want to do is you want to turn your oven on bake and put it on 425 degrees and we'll go ahead and let that begin to preheat. Preheat at 425, friends. Okay, friends, this is my nice little rice cooker. You'll see here it's made by Elite Cuisine. It's not very expensive. It's pretty reasonably priced. I got mine for free courtesy of my trucking company but they're doing away with that safety program where that you can win free stuff first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the bottom it won't help a lot but it's better than not spraying it about out of spray Okay, next thing we're going to do, friends, is we're going to go ahead and dump our rice aroni. Now, today we have some chicken and garlic flavored rice aroni. You can use any flavor that you want. Go ahead and dump the packet in there. And go ahead and put the seasoning packet in here. Now, you can cook this rice aroni on the stove top if you want to in a pan. But... I kind of like this rice cooker and it gives it kind of a little bit different of a flavor. It makes the rice real fluffy. Okay, the next thing you want to do, if you have any of the chicken flavored ones, stick some onion powder in there. It gives it an even better flavor. 
that you really like. And also, to help this not stick as bad, we're going to go ahead and put a teaspoon of butter in here. Okay, then you want to go ahead and add your water. It calls for two and a half cups of water. So we're going to go ahead and dump that in there. There's two cups. We need another half a cup. Okay friends, then you want to just take a fork and kind of stir that up a little bit. Then you stick the lid on here and plug it in and just click it on. And when it gets done, it pops up and just goes to warm. Very easy to make rice, just very difficult to clean. Hey friends, we're going to go ahead and open our two cans of green beans. You can fix as many as many cans as you like if you have a large family. I'm just cooking dinner for me and my gorgeous wife. So I usually just fix two cans. Okay friends, you just want to get you a pan, like maybe a three quart. You might fit it in a two quart pan. I think this is a three quart pan though, which is fairly decent size. I think it would have fit in a two quart pan, but three quart would be better. And then you want to go ahead and dump about a 13 ounce glass of water in there so it has enough water in it. Okay friends, then you want to take some garlic powder. We put at least four dashes of garlic powder in there and about ten dashes of onion powder. You want to take just a little bit, just a little bit of black pepper, not a lot. Stick that in there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and throw this burner on. And we're going to start it out in about the 5 o'clock position. Once it starts bubbling good, we'll turn it to... That's the wrong burner, friends. Don't turn the wrong burner on. Alright, that reminded me. Your disclaimers. Okay, friends, your disclaimers is if you hurt yourself or anybody else, it's your fault. If you catch your house on fire, cause any seen or unseen bad things to happen, it's your fault. If anything good happens, it's Brian's fault. You cut yourself, friends. If you cut yourselves, it's your fault. If you cut your spouse, it's your fault. Not my fault. So don't even ask or complain. You want to put the correct burner, not that burner, but this burner, 5 o'clock position until it's, it starts bubbling pretty good and then put it in about the oh maybe about the I don't know about right there it's about the eight o'clock position or so for the remainder of the cooking time get you a spoon with the little hole things in it there and carefully stir it. You don't want to get too crazy to where you smash all your beans up, so kind of do it gently. Stir occasionally. Then you want to get you a large casserole baking pan. And you want to go ahead and spray it. I'm about out of spray, so this ain't going to be good, friends. Almost out. Looks like we're out. If you run out of cooking spray, just take some canola oil and put it on a paper towel and just kind of wipe it around everywhere. That works too. Okay friends, and take some canola oil. And I use canola oil because it's more healthy than vegetable oil. And just dump in there, I don't know, I'm just guessing maybe about, I don't even know if it's a half a cup. 
Might be. Hard to tell. Okay, friends, we're going to go ahead and shake about seven or eight dashes of black pepper, some garlic powder, about six dashes, and onion powder, about ten day, about eight to ten dashes of onion powder. And this is one of my secrets: get you some seasoned salt. I don't know, about 10 good dashes in there, then maybe just a few, maybe five dashes of salt. Take you a fork and kind of stir it around a little bit here, friends. Okay, then you want to take your pork chops, and these are bone-in pork chops here, friends. Make sure you stick it in and flip it over a couple of times, that way you're kind of soaking the oil into the pork chop a little bit and what what that does the oil on it keeps it from burning really bad it'll keep it from burning real bad Now these ones here cost me about seven bucks or so, just under seven bucks, and it gave me five pork chops. That's enough for me and my wife. I'll eat three and the wife will eat two. They're thin ones. I like thin ones better than thick ones. Okay friends, you want to go ahead and stick that in the oven, put your timer on 45 minutes. Okay friends, well, your pork chops are cooking, remember to once in a while to stir these beans they're just now starting to get warm they haven't started bubbling yet they should be done at about the same time as your pork chops your rice will be done a little bit before that but it, it has a warm function our little rice cooker here has has a warm function it'll keep it warm until we're ready to eat now friends about 15 minutes before your pork chops are done, go ahead and stick some bacos or bacon bits or whatever you want to call these things. It can be any brand at all. Uh, if you even have real bacon, it'll taste even better. If you put some fried little pieces of bacon in there, it'll taste even better. But I just stick some bacon bits in there maybe 15 minutes before the beans are done. And that's what I call cop out green beans, friends. Hey, friends, then you want to go ahead and drink you some more of your coffee. Because we got to make sure that we keep enough energy to get this done. We don't want to fall asleep while it's cooking or it'll be ruined. And if your spouse kicks your butt because you burnt the food, it's your fault, friends, not mine. Don't, don't come crying to Brian. Remember, on Cooking with Brian, everything bad that happens is your fault. Everything good that happens is my fault. Friends, you want to cook them pork chops for 45 minutes. Every 15 minutes, that'll be two times during its cooking session you want to flip all the pork chops over carefully without burning yourself or catching your house or your cat on fire flip them over every 15 minutes and take them out put them on hot pads let them cool just a little bit uh, when they're done and that uh, that should do it Okay, friends, I hope that's a blessing to you. Hope you enjoy your delicious dinner. We'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.